Okay. So these verses, Jesus is using a tree as an example to us. Um, and I was thinking about verses 18, which is uh, a good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Um, that would make sense, right? Uh, okay, so I understand it as a bad tree can't bear bad fruit when its roots are corrupt, right? Like, same with like a good tree can't bear bad fruit because the fruits are good. Like, if you spray um, like a tree with like weed killer, it's gonna kill the tree, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, and if, and if you're growing a tree and it and it has really bad roots and bad soil, what's going to happen? It's not going to bear good fruit, right? That just makes sense. It's logic, you think. Um, it's the same with us. Our roots are found, or our roots are our foundation uh, decides whether or not we bear good or bad fruits, whether we have fruits of the flesh or we have fruits of the spirit. Um, when we have faith and an unreal foundation, that's not what Okay, we're done with that. I'm just going to go off the line. That's too much. Okay, so like I was saying, when you have bad roots, you're going to have bad fruit. When you have good roots, you're going to have good fruit, right? Um, so it's the same with us when we have a bad foundation. We're not going to bear good fruit. We're going to bear fruit of the flesh, which is bad fruit. Um, what I mean by fruit is like attributes, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. So like I said, bad fruit is like idolatry. In, in our generation now, idolatry is just... Um,